Hello, I'm Andy and I'm here today at the Baxi Warrington Training Centre and our training Tuesday we're going to look at how to remove a hot water plate heat exchanger from our Baxi 400 Combi 2 range. First things first, we're going to isolate the electric supply. Isolate the boiler electrically and remove the fuse and carry out the safe isolation process. Close the central heating flow isolation valve and the central heating return isolation valve and also your cold water inlet. Following on from closing our cold water inlet valve on the boiler, we need to open the hot tap to allow the remaining amount of cold water to drain out the boiler. Remove the front panel and drop down the fascia and the Baxi 400 Combi 2 range has a unique feature where we can drain the boiler through the pressure relief valve. Simply twist and the boiler will drain down through the pressure relief pipe work. We're not opening the pressure relief valve that remains firmly closed and drains through a secondary waterway. And we can clearly now see the plate heat exchanger in the rear of the boiler. Pull out the clip that's holding the motor head and lift off the motor head. This will give us more space now to pass the heat exchanger through. We're going to remove the screw on the right hand side hydraulics and the left hand side hydraulics which will see the plate become free. Once these screws are slack, we can lift the plate up and pass this out on the left hand side of the boiler. We can now reassemble in the reverse order. Reinstate the cold water supply and the central heating flow and the central heating return and top the boiler up as required and check for leaks. Happy that nothing's leaking, we can then de-aerate the boiler and put the front panel on and test the hot water. Now that we've uh, turned back on our isolation valves and checked for leaks, we'll reinstate the electrics. Pop our fuse back in. Power is now restored to the boiler. It will go into initialisation and deaeration automatically. This function will last five minutes. Thanks for watching today's Training Tuesday tip.